I know I've told you guys a, a, a lot of times that I used to be a snoop. Like I used to spy on my old boyfriend. <laughs> He would go to work or even get into the shower, and I would pick up what was called back in the day the two-way pager. <laughs> and there was no lock and no code. You could just go in and see what the hell he was doing. And he was cheating on me so much, but I stayed like a damn fool. I stayed, I stayed, I stayed. I guess I was waiting to catch him in the bed with the woman. I don't know. I needed it to be in my face. But um, how many of you guys have snooped? You guys have snooped? Snooping was the two-way pager. You guys had the Facebook and the MySpace and, oh yeah. And you can go and check on people's, like, updating their profile to see your man says that he was somewhere. And then you check somebody's status on their little update on their status and you see he was lying because she said that she was with him at the movies. Okay, so I think it's okay to spy on a man too, kinda, is it, right? Is it? Or is it not? I don't know. But what about a mom spying on their kids? No. <laughs> that section over there? I think there's a lot of moms over there. They're like, oh, yes, that's good. Well, with all the technology these days, mamas can monitor their kids' cell phone use. They can read their text messages. They can log on to Facebook MySpace and see all of their information. But today, we're going to find out or ask the question, are some moms taking this too far? Tunisia says, hell no, she's not taking it too far. <laughs> because she cannot go far enough to snoop on her two daughters. So you're snooping. Snooping on your two daughters. Tell me some of the things you do. Tell me, you bought the same cell phone as them. Yes. What does that mean? I bought all three of us the exact same cell phone, Tyra. That way I would know how to operate it. <laughs> that way I can go in and check out incoming and outgoing messages. I need to know what my daughters are into. When they're doing their chores and have it on the charger or in the shower, I am in there with my pen and paper. I am writing down numbers that I don't know. I call those numbers when I get to work. And if it's if it's a girl that answers. Well, you call the, phone, the numbers? Oh, I call the numbers back. Oh yes. If it's a girl that answers, okay, I mark that up as, you know, it could be a girlfriend, but if it's a male voice, if it's a deep voice, I pretend to be a friend because I need to know where did they meet. How did they meet? Do he plan on seeing my daughter as I'm if they're her friend? But if his boy sound he's going through puberty, you know, like, I still hello? ask questions. Okay, I got you ask know. questions. So tell me about dates. When a guy comes to pick up your daughter, what do you do? I invite them in. They have to ring the doorbell. That blowing horn going out. No, you have to okay, ring the I, doorbell. Okay, I respect that. Come in. Yes. And as he's coming in, I'm standing there with pen and paper in hand because I am writing down exactly what he has on, any body piercing, tattoos, anything. Uh, do you have a driver's license? I need to see a driver's license. I want the correct spelling of his name and the driver's license number. And I walk them out and I get the license plate number off the car. And the best thing about it, when they leave, I go to my computer, 411.com, public data. I need to know who she's with. I need to know about their family. <laughs> I'm snooping. And then when she gets home from the date, what do you do when she gets home from that date? When she's home from the date, I, I do a body search. <laughs> Wait, what does that I'm mean? Looking for, right, I'm looking for, you know, any type of mark. If they could be hickeys, bruises. I mean, he, she's been out on this date, so I need to know if it's a physical date, how physical the date was. I even, I smell it if I have to. Oh. You smell her! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I don't know if you guys remember a couple of seasons ago, I went to jail. I went to jail as a, yeah. you guys remember that? Okay, yeah, I went to jail and I got the body search and I took my clothes off, took the weave out, had the braids, the six braids going back, and they searched my body. And I felt so violated that they were searching my body. Is that what you do to your daughter? You like make her take her clothes off and you're looking? Like what, what body parts are you looking at? Um, I'm just not, not like that. You know, I go to talk, I want to know about her date. And you know, I tell her, because I know she's coming in, she's late, getting undressed. I'm not leaving until you are undressing. So you might as well do it now when I say, let's talk about the date. Or well, if not, then if I have to say, strip, you will. That sounds like the jail to me. <laughs> so I have to protect my daughter. You have to protect your daughter. Okay, let's talk about the mall. You, um, you drop them off at the mall, mm -hmm. or, and, then, and then tell me what you do. 
I, I pick up everybody. I'm the taxi because, like I said, I need You're to the know taxi. who they're with and what they're into. And I would drop them off at the mall. And they'll think that I have, I have left. But I go to the other side. I do a quick change in the car. A quick I put change my, of clothes? A quick change of clothes in the car. I put on my hat and my sunglasses. And, you know, I'm going to check out the sales, too, but I'm actually going to check out what they're into. So what, what do you see? What are you watching? What is she doing? Well, that's, I just want to know what is she doing. It's, it's not them that I'm, I'm afraid of. It's the people who they hang with. I mean, you, girls, they get into so much trouble. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just want to make sure, you know, that they are always doing the right thing. Now, as a young girl, as a young girl, I kept a journal. I kept a diary. And I loved mm -hmm. that diary. I used to write so many things in my journal. Do your daughters keep journals? Yes, they do. I'm scared to ask. <laughs> Well, do you have no privacy in my home? Oh, wow. I'm sorry. If it's in their room, I'm just lending them the room. So I'm going through everything. So you go through the journal? Yes, I go through the journal. And do they have locks on them? Mine had a little lock. Uh, yes, it has lock. But you know the uh, needle nose tweezers? <laughs> you can really pick that lock. And uh, my daughter, one of my daughters, she ties a ribbon around hers in a special way. So I studied how she has the ribbon tied because I want to tie it back exactly like she had it. Okay. Um, have your daughters given you a reason not to trust them? Do I have to have a reason? Yeah. I'm their mother. <laughs> well, no, they have never given me a reason, but I just don't want them to be a teenage mother like I was. Okay, so you, know, you, were, you yes, got pregnant I'm a, very young. Absolutely, and you know what? It only took one time. And that's what I'm afraid of. You got I pregnant the first time? The very first time. And I do not want that to happen to my daughters. They have dreams and aspirations, and I want them to reach them. So you think by you checking their body for hickeys and telling them to strip means they're not going to have sex? And why does sex have to leave a bruise? What kind of sex were you into? Well, no. <laughs> to say, you know, kissing and stuff, it start heating up the bottom. So I don't want the bottom to be heated at all. And not right now, they're just 15 and 16 years old. They're 15, 16, I think they've been kissing and I think they've been heated. Absolutely. Okay. But, you know, that's where I come in. So therefore, I will know. That way I can put a handle on it. I can catch it. When you say you smell them, I have to go back to that. Well, I'm just smelling for like the slava. You know how breath smells. And man so smells. You're right. I want his cologne and everything. I'm, I'm just checking. Do your daughters know that you snoop on them? And of course they know about the body searches. Do they know about the diaries and all that type of stuff? Yes and no. But it doesn't yes matter. Yes and no. Yes and no. They know to a point. But it does not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, I think it's gold matter because her daughters are here. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs>